Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today I'm going to show you the deck I'm using for the second stage of the KC Cup. I've been sitting on it for a while. Shout out to Tay Kitten in the comment section for talking about Rescue Rabbit when Le what is it? Lagia La became a new monster. It negates anything. You can negate a summon or a spell or trap card. It just takes two dinosaurs. So we can rescue Rabbit out a couple dinosaurs. We can unexpected die out a dinosaur, normal summon a dinosaur, and really get Lagia out. Then we can sit on Karma Cut. Karma Cut's still the best in the game. And then we have Invoke to give us a little more spice to get through these tough situations. So it was an okay deck. Uh, we're still kind of in the middle of the second stage, so I'm going to play a little more. I'm at about 50 duels, maybe try to get to about 70 duels. That's where I usually land when I am in a KC Cup. Uh, it's at a hard 50 win rate, so I'm only at about 12,000 12, DP right now. We'll see where I finish. But uh, yeah, it, you know, it's not crushing it, but it's way more fun than the super stale meta of just Galaxy Eyes and Black Rose. So having tons of fun. Got a lot of replays, so don't want to go over the intro for too long. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know how you're doing in the second stage. And thanks for watching, guys. And I wasn't seeing harpies all too, too often, but you still ran into some. We're going second, no doubt. So our first turn deck going second. We're still going to beat what was once a top tier deck and is now still a very strong, very decent deck, even if it's not considered top tier widely. But uh, we get Perfumer. Searching in the Feathers Rest. Perfumer came from Chandler. Obviously, that's going to be a Harpy Lady. Special Summons Oracle. Or Rest first, then Special Summons Oracle. There she is. Sets of back row. Okay, so we have Unexpected Die, we have Rescue Rabbit, and two Karma Cuts. We're gonna Unexpected Die. That's our Mango Smasher. Now we're going to Rescue Rabbit. He's gonna Book of Moon our poor Rabbit. Then he's going to Harpy Lady, our poor Dino. But what that does is give us two live Karma Cuts. And let me tell you, two live Karma Cuts can go a very long way when your opponent is all in invested. So he comes out with two Slash Harpy Ladies. We hit one, boom, we hit two. She returns herself, because he probably only runs two. And our Rescue Rabbit is going to live to come and rescue us once again. Sabersauruses, Lagias, Megalo, and it's lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Bakora. We're going first, definitely a first turn deck. So you want to see us going first. Not a first turn hand though. But the best we can do, Mega Smasher and Scrap Iron Scarecrow. He's the Light Sworn, Light Sworn Thunder Dragons. Get another Saber. Look at all these monsters just swinging over him. Is a Temperance Light Monster for his synergy. We still have Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Fiend Farewell throws away Betrayer, brings out the Betrayer. That's gonna banish Dark, which will give him a search. Search is Hawk. That'll give him a special summon. I don't think he has. Oh, there's a level 6 he can bring out, though. Uses the Roar or the Hawk. Now he can bring out the 6. Now he can do a 6XZ, he goes with M7. Now I thought he was going to attack one of my monsters. You could chain missile in your source. Nothing happened. But he was going for his own Chaos Dragon. So it's like, oh, what's that Brings out said Chaos Dragon. Destroys our, I'm assuming, our back row and one of our dinos. But we used Miscellaneous Source, which, as you can see, protected our dino. Now he goes Advanced Odd Eyes. Still protected by Miscellaneous Source, but uh, he was in fact able to hit us. Now, Advanced Size was able to special summon that Chaos Dragon the Vioneer with the top deck of Alistair. That will prove to be his fatal weakness because we can bring out Purgatrio. Purgatrio can pierce, and he's only at 3800. We have Attack Charge. 
we don't even need attack charge. Alistair would get him up to 3,900, and we would pierce for lethal. But we do have attack charge, so imagine it was even more, and we needed that actual 4k attack charge always coming through. Great, great stuff, guys. Here we are versus Galaxy Eyes. Definitely what I would say is the most played in this KC Cup second stage. Karma Cut does wonders though. Rescue Rabbit does wonders. We got one of each of our dinos. Generally don't want to see that too often. You want to see Miscellaneousaurus. You burn the Sabres because we can't burn the Smashers. You go with the Lobby and the Karma Cut. This is all I want ever. First turn, give me that. Good up Bukamuna. Just let the Bukamuna go through instead of gaining it. Because there's always a chance Karma Cut will be enough to protect your monster. So generally wait for the XZs. He can bring it out over anything, so just wait for the big boy. There he is. And with a Karma Cut, no answer. We keep on keeping on. That's why you don't negate the Book of Moon. Now he's gonna treacherous us, we can negate that. And obviously that's a lethal amount of damage. Not likely he has a Kyroid, and that's going to be lethal over the most used deck. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are versus Shark. We're going second. Definitely a first turn deck, so second's a bit of a disadvantage for us. Would have been a great first turn hand. Nice barriers. Got the little frog. Hexa Spirit. This is more a lizard, huh? Goes with a white or a dolphin. I haven't seen that card in a while. Rescue Rabbit, Miscellaneousaurus, chain to the Rescue Rabbit, that way nothing's going to affect my dinos, none of that back row. You can chain the Miscellaneous to a back row and it'll generally work, but uh, we weren't taking any chances here. We're going to swing over the White Aura Dolphin, he should be able to come back without Lucky stopping it, but that's what the Karma Cut is for, so we'll throw away the Saber Source, keep the Invoker, he has a Forbidden Lance, I love Forbidden Lance. And we're gonna negate it, and then he has a Book of Moon. Could have saved his White Aura Dolphin, but chooses to Book of Moon us. That's why. Now that will give him an add to his hand with Revealer, but you can't really do anything with Revealer unless you have a card to discard. So uh, he actually has a monster that summons from the graveyard. How crazy is that? I don't generally use that monster. Probably can really make. It's an Abyss Dweller, not a huge deal. Goes over our Lagia. Oh, we get our second Invoke. That's gonna be big trouble for him, because he that Abyss Dweller effect will stop us from getting our Invoke back. But now we have Invoke in our hand anyway, and I do believe it comes in handy. So there's Purgatrio. Yep, he's gonna Forbidden Lance us down, but we do have another Alistair, so we do not lose this fight. Boom, there we go. He's in pure top deck mode, not much you can do with ice barriers from there. Unexpected die, but we get a vocation right back, which means we get another invoke, which will mean another monster, which will likely mean lethal as long as uh, that back row isn't anything too crazy. Invocation, we're going with Earth, Magellanica. Oh, we kept the Alistair too, believe it or not. Let me get a cha uh, attack charge him up to one mighty swing. That way we have two instances of lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing the infamous Galaxy Eyes. I would say they are definitely the most played. Not the worst matchup. It's just who gets their negate on the field first. This boy looks like he's going to get his negate on the field first. Or maybe not at all. He's doing it right, though. Galaxy Zero and now the right monster. No, he doesn't get his McDade boy off, so that is a bonus for us. We're going to start with the Rescue Rabbit. It has to be Smasher, because we already have two Saber Source. We're going Malevolent Sin. We can't really mess with this monster. We're going to Malevolent Sin to get rid of his Equip. Let's go to Mystical Space Typhoon, one of our Karma, or sorry, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, saving the Karma Cut, which is pretty crucial. That boy's back. We get another Xyz Galaxy and Sin. Goes straight to the Photon Dragon. But we're gonna hit him with the Karma Cut as his effect goes off. Nice and 
UC Galaxy Zero once again doesn't attack though, so we're still gonna be able to banish. No idea why he didn't swing and he couldn't. He negates our effect though. Then we go with Alistair. Doesn't negate his effect. Saber Source is in our hand. Saber Source also in the graveyard. That's gonna be Magellanica. So even if he banishes himself to banish my boy, not much he's gonna be able to do. Boom. Galaxy Zero protects him from destruction. But he becomes zero, he banishes us, comes back. Now he gets Galaxy Expedition, brings out another eight, but what are you gonna do? He's gonna do the XCs of his negate. 2500. Oh, he's going to advance. Going crazy. Destroys Magellanica. Destroys that. How are we going to come back? All we need is another Alistair. Top deck Alistair, the last one, no doubt. Very good top deck. Invocation. Boom. Magellanica's right back. You're a 4k. That's pretty impressive, but we're at turn 6 with attack charge, which means. We're gonna have exact lethal, matching him at 4k. There's the attack charge. Now we Alistair the Invoker. That's exact lethal. I love attack charge, guys. I think everyone sleeps on attack charge because these kind of instances happen more often than you think. Alright, here we are facing a Pegasus. Don't see them all too often anymore. We're going second. Mind scan, no doubt. We have our Scarecrow, we have our Karma Cut. And we have an Xyz, so we have virtually everything. These Saddler Knights, we saw this quite a bit. He chooses not to do an Xyz, wants to keep a monster for his back row. The unexpected die one. We bring out two, we go with Lavia. Now he's gonna try to floodgate, we have to get rid of that floodgate. Now he's going to negate our negate with Alpha, gets rid of a monster, does get a plus one. But now he's left with little resources. We have Karma Cut and Karma Cut. So let him see. It doesn't really matter. He's going to attack with two because he knows we have Karma Cut and he stops with the one. No idea why. So uh, we'll bring out Rescue Rabbit. Great one card combo. Two Saber Source. That's our second Lagia. This time no back row to stop us. We're going to kill the Altair because we can't summon him from the graveyard with that Altair. Lagia is going to hit him anyway because I think he does have something else to summon. Yeah, Vega. So that's two Altairs down. We get a Miscellaneousaurus and he goes ahead and scoops for us. Great, great stuff. It's all Sattler Knight surprisingly a lot. Alright, here we are first the Tyranno. I think this is genuinely Dino vs. Dino. 30 cards over there for him. Yep. Using Dino Kingdom going to help us out a bit. So we can play Mega Masher, Mega Smasher X, however you want to say it. He's unexpecting die too. Look at this guy, matching our monster. He's using Volcanic Wall, which will banish a few monsters when he wants to. We get a Karma Cut, one of them. We threw away our Miscellaneous Source. He mills with Volcanic Wall and has to skip his battle phase regardless. There, he does not have an answer to our Dino Normal Summon, so we are going to get the Mighty Lagia out. Super annoying that Lagia does not get a bonus from dinos. It is a dragon, it is not a dino. Makes no sense, requires dinos, and then just becomes a dragon. Doesn't even make sense with the evil solar, because they're reptiles and dinos. This dude's just some random dragon. But anyway, he goes Baby Saurus. We couldn't Lagia Baby Saurus because it destroys Baby Saurus and he would get the summon anyway, so we just take the L with the survival Z. But we still have life. Now what I love about this deck is there's a lot of top decks you can pull that bring you right back into the duel, like Rescue Rabbit or like Invoker. One card comebacks, very, very useful in this kind of deck, especially with the Karma Cuts taking away your resources. Very, very good. So we're able to bring a Lagia right back. Volcanic Wall does not do anything for us. He does have a Miscellaneous Saurus gonna banish a few. I'm not quite scared of this monster, so I allow it. Now he gets another dino. That's who we're gonna stop. 
because we don't want another Logia. But uh, Miscellaneousaurus pops his dino anyway. We get a good old Scrap Iron Scarecrow. We show him a Miscellaneousaurus of our own. I go Smasher, get closer to those life points. Now he will be destroyed in the end phase just like his was. But we're getting real close. He has only two cards. Charge of the Life Brigade will give him a search and mill a bunch more dinos, so he's light sworn dinos. Not really much more you can do with boss monsters and that kind of deck though. Milling even more, just no boss monsters to go with all this mill, my guy. You milled your whole deck pretty much and still don't really have too many plays. We're gonna attack charge because that's a perfect 1200. He probably wasn't, or 1400. I wasn't anticipating that. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing uh, Crocodile Dundee over here. 23 cards. We got a Rescue Rabbit and some Karma Cuts. That is a very good, very, very good first turn play. It's essentially what we want. So we can bring out the Megalo Smashers, go into Logia, set two Karma Cuts. So even if one's Mystical Space Typhoon, we're still going to be good. He's using Golem Hole, so he's able to throw away a Mega Monarch, search up Fusion. Now he's trying to go with Miracle Rupture. That's going to tackle Crusader Us. I have Karma Cut, so we're not going to blow Lavia negating of Miracle Rupture when it already throws the monster. Now he uses his Fusion, goes with his Skull King. It was right to have to Miracle Fusion before doing this. But obviously we have Karma Cut. He has no means to protect himself from Karma Cut unless he had like a Forbidden Lance. And the threat is averted. We're going to be able to flip our boy right back up. And still attack the one thing that annoys me so bad about this monster is it's not a dinosaur, it's a dragon. Which makes Miscellaneousaurus not able to protect it. So annoying. So we get another Rescue Rabbit. We're going to Xyz into Malevolent Sin this time be able to banish that monster and potentially threaten for lethal he's going to try to use the back row now again with rock bombardment i could negate it with logia but there's no point as it already mills the tackle crusader and the tackle crusader is the one who's getting stuff done the bombardment's really just 500 more damage or so but we still hit him for 2400 still has that set monster we get an invocation not really going to do a thing the level of sin still has banish his stomach Agia still has the deny, but now it's Bombardment. He doesn't have Taco Crusaders left, so he goes with Revival Golem, but we have a Karma Cut, so that boy is gone. And we still get to swing with our boys for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are versus a Yami Merrick. We're going second. Love the background animation for this, but then they cover it up with these Force KC mats. So, we got Karma Cuts. Karma Cuts still the best. More Rock. We got Unexpected Die to go with our Sabersaurus, so we're gonna go with two Sabersauruses. Now he's gonna Canadia one. It's not a big deal. Set two Karma Cuts, swing over the War Rock, and continue on. He's only got three cards total now. Another War Rock that we're going to Karma Cut. That's gonna trigger Canadia. We Karma Cut her because she had a. Uh, Things that can buff your attack, so we waited till the second phase. Now I can flip my boy up. That's a Logia. Now we can normal summon Megalo Masher X. 2400, he's growing lower. And then a second War Rock. DD Crow is everywhere. This, uh, this KC Cup, I do not understand why. Who does that hurt? Black Rose? I guess they use it for Black Rose or something, but literally, I saw so many DD Crows. It was insane. They never really won a duel, took a duel from me or anything, but i uh, blown away with how I saw them. Tons of Galaxy Eyes, tons of Black Rose, virtually all you see. I was seeing a lot of Sattler Knights and lots of DD Crow all over the place, so a little bit of a stale meta. But it's not a control. I was more bringing the control element versus these very quick OTK decks like Black Rose and Galaxy Eyes. So I hope you guys are having a good time. It's been a first Casey Cup I've played a good amount of games in for a while. So hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.